David with Lagori Drag Racing here, and I wanted to go over the Pro Bike harnesses for Fuel Tech. These are a product made by Fuel Tech, and it is for the FT450 and FT550 Pro Bike harness, A and B connectors. So we'll start off with the 450 and the 550A connector. And you can see you have a ECU plug here. You have your wideband nano, plugs into that. Can A, and then you have an FT550 expansion here. And if you use the FT550, this gets plugged into the 550 harness. You have your relays and fuses up here. These will mount in the front fairing. Um, fuses for the injectors, uh, main relay, coils along with the fuse. You have your tether kill switch. This is your switched power. You have your two-step or clutch input. And you also have a generic input. This would be for like a scramble button, a nitrous uh, activation button, uh, shift button, something up near the handlebars. You also have a Spark Pro 4 connector. This uh, extends back near the subframe tail area. You have your coils, coil four, three, two, one. Everything's labeled. You have a cam hall and a cam VR. This is uh, Gen 1 BUSA, Gen 2 BUSA, or GSXR. Um, this is a head ground. Here you have your injector plugs. These are set up for a Gen 2 BUSA or a GSXR. And these plugs can be cut off and adapted to a Gen 1 BUSA. Peak and hold. If your injectors are low impedance, you need a peak and hold box. If not, they are high impedance, you can put a peak and hold jumper in. You have a extra outputs connector. Crank VR. And there is also a crank hall sensor for a universal bike and also a engine ground water temp this is a gen 2 busa connector this also can be converted to gen 1 or any other model motorcycle suzuki speed sensor connector Fuel pressure, oil pressure, O2 sensor, throttle position, again GSXR or Gen 2 BUSA, this can also be converted to Gen 1. EGT-8, if you add EGTs to the bike, this has the power ground and the CAN-A connectors. And power and ground for battery. You can see here, your blue number one and blue number two primary injectors for one and four two and three so one and four and two and three are paired together on just the 450 harness if you add the 550 harness for a 550 and you plug this in then the injectors are separated spark pro outputs five volts you have uh all your 
generic input here, two-step throttle position, oil pressure, water temp, fuel pressure, and speed sensor. So this shows you white one through seven. Seven inputs on a 450. And then switching over to a Pro Bike B harness. On the Pro Bike B harness, you have the ECU connector, as well as your main power and secondary injectors. You have your secondary injectors and another peak and hold. This can be also jumped on a Gen 1 Busa or any other model motorcycle. Um, say it has four injectors. You can cut these plugs off or adapt off to them. For things like a gear shift solenoid, um, you can go to a fuel pump relay. Um, you can go to other solenoids or any kind of activation. This is a power and a ground. It is ground activated because it's a blue output. Intake air temp, Gen 2 Busa or GSXR again, can be converted. Rear shock sensor. This is the, the rear shock connector for the fuel tech sensor. Gear position. Injector plug, there's another injector plugs. You have a wastegate or nitrous pressure sensor. You also have a pan vac sensor or back pressure. And this can also be used for a, another type of pressure. Uh, say if you wanted shift pressure or something like that, you can just relabel it in the software. Same goes for fuel, oil, Nitrous, the wastegate pressure, you can relabel them if it goes to a different sensor. You have your battery, positive and ground, and a extra inputs connector. You have a, a can B port, and here's the expansion that I talked about over on the 450 harness. There's a six way an eight way and a 10 way connector for extra inputs, extra outputs. And this is the Pro Bike B paperwork. It shows you where all the inputs and outputs are, it shows you the extra outputs and what's free, extra inputs free. And this works for the 450 and 550 Pro Bike Harness.